Hi, today I'm reviewing the Dr. Robux Reverse Aging Serum. And really quick, I just want to say I purchased all these products with my own money, so you know you can always trust my review is my honest opinion. And this is the full size, and it sells for $59. It's one ounce. And um, I purchased this during the Sephora 15% sale, their spring sale. And I'm, to be honest, I'm pretty bummed I used my 15% off on this because I could have purchased something else. But I ended up with this after looking at the list of ingredients. It looked like it has a lot of uh, beneficial ingredients, which it does. Um, unfortunately, with those beneficial ingredients, they include a lot of fragrant ingredients and uh that bummed me out so it's a thicker serum it's almost like a gel water texture um and it absorbs pretty quickly into my skin i applied it on my face uh, several evenings before bed and uh, unfortunately just from putting it on my hand right now i can already smell the uh, fragrance ingredients in it it has like a lime scent, but I think that's because of some of the, it's got lemon, linaloo, limonene, uh, citrus, citral. Um, so unfortunately, thankfully, those ingredients do come at the very end of the list. So that's a good thing that in this formula, the, at least the beneficial ingredients are listed first. So typically they're in higher quantities than the fragrance ingredients. Um, I haven't decided if I'm going to keep it or gift it to someone or return it. At $59, well, I have my coupon in there, but that's still a lot of money for something you're not super excited about. And I compared this to some of their other formulas, and this one had a better formula for what I needed, which is like anti-aging beneficial ingredients. And I like how it absorbs into your skin. I like everything. I like the packaging. It's got the opaque bottle. Um, you know, it's not exposed to light or air. So I haven't really decided about that. So um, for those reasons, I'm not going to give it any thumbs up and I'm not going to give it any thumbs down. But I will let you know if I decide to keep it or return it. I'll keep you guys posted. And I was just kind of wondering, what is your guys' return theories? Do you guys return things you're not going to use or do you just keep them and kind of shuffle them away? I used to never return things. And now once you start spending a lot of money on things and once you realize you're never going to use it, I'm to the point where I either gift it to someone if I think they can benefit from it, but if it's something that has sketchy ingredients, I'll just return it. But everyone's kind of different when it comes to that, so leave me a comment and let me know, and also feel free to subscribe. I come out with at least one new review every day. Thank you, guys.